All right, here's uh, muscles of the larynx, laryngeal region. Uh, some landmarks to start with. You have hyoid bone, thyroid cartilage, and cricoid, cricoid cartilage. So as you're going through the test, maybe think, okay, so here you have your hyoid bone and thyroid cartilage. This must be the hyothyroid muscle or the, just the thyroid muscle. This right here would be your cricothyroid muscle. Going to the back side, uh, we have the vocalis muscle, and this muscle is going to be deep to the thyroid, thyroarytenoideus muscle. And she's, uh, Dr. Luma said it wasn't shown on this one, on this model particularly, but it'd be a little bit lateral, and it would be superficial to these vocalis muscles. Um, in here. I'll, this muscle down here is going to be your lateral cricoretinoideus muscle and it might be kind of hard to see on the video but it's actually going from the chi I'm sorry the cricoid cartilage back here to the retinoid cartilage so it's going to attach here in the front cricoretinoideus starting from the cricoid coming back to the retinoid cartilage and this is where it becomes the posterior cricoretinoideus muscle so just remember your landmarks from cricoid cartilage to a retinoid cartilage back to the posterior side. Um, there's two different muscles right here which might be hard to discern on the video, but you have these two like X looking muscles. The one the muscle deep to that is your retinoideus muscle. And the more superficial or the X that we're looking at now is your oblique retinoideus muscle. And this other one not shown, you have oblique retinoideus, which is going to lead up to the airy epiglottic muscle, and it'll kind of go along here and attach to the epiglottis. So maybe just keep that in mind. So um, oblique retinoideus muscle is going to give rise to the airy epiglottic muscle and attach on the epiglottis.